in any sunflowers um, maybe they need more water we've had so much rain the past week but the past couple of days it hasn't rained at all so maybe that's why so we'll have to start watering again look at look at a flower forming can you see yay she's so excited about that and all of them yeah. got little flowers coming we're gonna have to water those so we're going to see what's coming out out here, if anything. Yeah, we'll have to water tonight, honey. We're going to have to water. Everything is huge. Can you guys see this? I mean, you think it won't get any bigger. Of course, the corn is going to get a lot bigger. But I just, you know, being my first time, I don't know what's going to get what at this point. We have a couple squash. I think we're going to have to come in here and, and do more pruning. Huh? Oh, you got one? Yeah. Yep, go ahead. Okay. Twist it off. Good job. Nice one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have two little ones over here. Right there. They're just doing their thing. Okay. And some little ones over here growing. So, yep, doing good. I don't know, I think. I'm wondering if I need to prune again. We have all the new uh, growth coming in from when I pruned last time. And I can see a lot, but it's, um, I don't know, it took off after I pruned it. It got even bigger. So, I don't know, I'm going to have to watch it and see. Tomatoes. Let me see if there's any zucchini over here. Anything over here? So kids have pretty much come out here and taken anything that's ready. Um, with all that rain we had. Yep, we got a zucchini coming in over there. Lots of new growth. More zucchini there. Lots more right there. Holy moly. Yeah, we'll have to come in and uh, I don't know, do a little bit more pruning. Something there's a leaf over here with some weird looks like eggs or something on it. I don't know what that is. Let me see. Oh, it's a bunch of little spiders. That it look like they're hatching. Ew, look. I don't know what those are. Are those spiders? Whatever it is, there's a lot of eggs on these. They're all over the place. Look, they're here too. What are those? Oh boy, I'm going to have to look that up. Is that going to harm the plant? They're everywhere. Oh no. Ew. They're just out all over the place. I don't know what those are, so I'm going to have to look them up. Some of them are hatched. They look like little spiders. Ugh, it gives me the willies. I hate spiders. So I'm starting to get concerned now because we have a lot of growth. Look at them. There's just... They're... they're there's a lot. They're coming in everywhere. Um, there's a ton of growth, but nothing's turning red. What does that mean? Um, seeing a lot of people, friends whose um, gardens right here where I live, they're harvesting tons of tomatoes already, red tomatoes. So I'm concerned. Why these aren't turning red and they're supposed to be red? These back here. Those are the first to grow. And they're still not red. I don't 
No. I'm concerned about that because there's a ton of them. And I'd hate for them to all rot, go to waste. Hold on, there's a bunch down here. This one right here looked like it was starting to turn. It might be. Definitely got lighter. So we'll have to see if anybody knows what the deal is. Or if I'm just being impatient. A lot of these are still little, but those ones that are that have been here the longest. Um I'm just worried about them rotting like those right there. I don't want them to rot. That would be such a waste. Hey look, a mosquito on my phone. Sorry, I just killed a mosquito with you. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I'm worried about this. About what these eggs are. I have no idea. Let me show you again. So you've got some little red, almost look like strawberry seeds. You see that? And then the top there, the little cluster, those are the hatched bugs. And I don't know what they are. There's more there. See that? Don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I want to know because I want to get rid of them. Gosh, they're just all over. Look at them. first thought was like ticks, but I think the tick eggs are um, black and kind of in a bundle. These are like in a neat row. I tell you, the weeding never ends. It's just constant. There's You weed and it comes right back. Oh, look at the little pepper in here hiding among all the watermelon. Watermelon really went crazy. So it's like everywhere here. See some flowers in there and some little bees in those flowers. That's always good. And cantaloupe. cantaloupe. So, yeah, I am. Oh, look at the bee. Oh, he flew away. There he is. Can see him? <clears throat> I'm concerned. I'm really happy about the way it looks and growing and everything, but my concern with all of it is, is uh, you know, other than the squash, which I've gotten lots of squash and zucchini already, um, that's the only crop that we've been able to harvest anything from. Um, tomatoes, still not green. I don't know. Um, obviously the pumpkins aren't going to be ready or anything. No, there's flowers, but no watermelon growing yet. Uh, cantaloupe, lots of flowers, but no cantaloupe yet. And the corn's doing well. We did kind of get started a little bit late in the season. Well, not that way. It was June, so it wasn't that bad. So I'm not sure what's going on. I have to look it up a little bit. Hey, buddy. 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 Hey, buddy.
No, nothing yet, honey. Still waiting. Let us know why the tomatoes aren't ready yet. Uh, These are doing well. I, I need you to do your pasture. Okay, hold on. Aiden keeps taking out these onions that aren't ready yet. He keeps eating them like that and the basil. Like he runs around, it smells like basil all day because he keeps eating all the basil out of the garden. It's pretty funny. stuff we do in the fall um, and for Halloween we really do need to get started early we do this every year because um, I make costumes and stuff too so today though we're gonna be making paper mache uh, pumpkins for, my birthday. <laughs> for his birthday so that um, we can use them in our theme of haunted mansion so we're going to use balloons, newspaper, and paper mache stuff. And some. That we make. It's just flour and water. Yeah? Alright, so what you're going to do, get your balloon. which we have a lot around here. I never knew they had to do with squashes. Uh, <clears throat> but one good way to get rid of them without um, I see them. pesticides and chemicals no, is to um, use duct tape. Apparently you duct tape it, they stick did. to it, and it gets it off. Yeah. So we're going to try that.
a ton of eggs and stuff, and I'm going to show you. I actually found two adults, too, so... Yes, I did. They're stuck on there. So I'm going to show you. Wow. This must be the dad and mom. Look. Look at all that. And it's on both sides. Oh, that's the... Yeah. One of them? Wow. Yeah. All over this duct tape. What? Where's the second, like, grown-up? Right there. Oh. See that? Yep. See, they're struggling to get out. Those are what laid those eggs. They're so, struggling to get out. So we went through all the leaves. Hopefully we got them all. We'll do some more checking. We'll check again tomorrow. Uh, ooh, it's supposed to rain all day, so sometime tomorrow if there's a break in the rain. But that's gross. Man, I hate bugs. <laughs>